the willpower to hold out for the big payoff. Don't eat. And how many will give in to temptation. We gave these nine kids a simple choice. They could have one piece of cotton candy now or three pieces in 15 minutes, provided they don't eat the first piece. But what they didn't know is that we'd be watching the whole time. And 15 minutes alone with that sweet treat might be too much to handle. So how many kids will hold out and how many will give in? I'll be back. This kid barely waited until the door was closed before disqualifying herself. And so did this one. Do you think the other seven kids will give in just as quickly? Or will they find a way to resist temptation? Look at her. She's not even looking at it. Brilliant. Out of sight is out of mind. The coping mechanisms are wonderful. Um, I oh, oh, no, 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 no. Oh. <laughs> He's a creative kid. But 15 minutes is a long time, especially for kids. It's boring in here. Yeah. I want some juice. Can I take him away to eat it without nobody knowing? Sneaky plan. <laughs> but we're watching. And now some of these kids are really struggling. So yummy. What other strategies do you think they'll come up with to stay strong? Finishing the alphabet might do the trick. Or counting the time passing on your hands. And check out these two boys using teamwork to encourage each other not to give in. Don't eat it. Yeah. I'm not going to eat it. I yet to eat it. Maybe backing away completely is a good distraction. Or not. She's wheeling back in again. Up. Oh! She's diving right in. Maybe she thought if she didn't touch it with her hands, it wouldn't count. But it does. And she wasn't the only one. Remember our two boys using teamwork to stay distracted? Looks like one of them decided to go solo. I win? Yeah, you win. Sorry, kid. You didn't win. But despite a few of them giving in, five of them managed to hold out for the full 15 minutes. You're good. Was that how many you thought would power through for the big payoff? High five, yeah. So why is distraction more effective than simply trying to resist temptation? It's because resistance is a finite resource in your brain. The usual strategy of fighting addiction using just willpower alone is a losing battle. The area of your brain that asserts willpower, the frontal cortex, only developed in the last 200,000 years. It's no match for the most primitive parts of your brain, where addictive behavior is rewarded. So the next time you find yourself reaching for your favorite vice, try distracting yourself with a healthier option. Singing a little song. Or just walking out of the room. Anything you can think of to put your addiction behind you. Hey, out of sight, out of mind, right? But while you may try to steer clear of temptation, there are some people whose entire existence depends on tapping into your addictive tendencies. As you're about to find out in this next game, take a look at this maze. We're gonna give you 10 seconds to solve it. Ready? Go. Time's up. Were you able to find your way out? If you were able to solve this maze in 10 seconds, congratulations. But we're gonna let you in on a little secret. This wasn't really a test of your maze